how to know the amount of eggs left in your ovaries. In today's video, I'll be telling you what tests you can do that will show you the amount of eggs left in your ovaries and what time in your cycle you should do it. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Amarachi Ijema. I am a fertility physician and my channel focuses on everything fertility and women's health. So if this is the kind of content you're interested in, keep watching. Understanding your ovarian reserve can give you an idea of your potential for getting pregnant, and this will help you to make informed decisions. The term ovarian reserve refers to the amount of eggs remaining in a woman's ovaries because the ovary is the reservoir for eggs in our body. Simply put, it is the storage unit for our eggs. Your ovarian reserve is an indicator of a woman's ability to get pregnant. It doesn't tell you the exact number, but it gives you an estimate of what is left in your ovaries. Before I talk about this test, let me share a story about your eggs. When a female child is born, she is born with a fixed amount of eggs in her ovaries. These eggs are stored in her ovaries, but her ovaries cannot release them yet until she gets to puberty. When she first sees her period, she releases the first set of eggs. This first set is said to be the best eggs, the eggs that are of most quality. As she ages, she continues to release more eggs every month. Note that these eggs cannot be replaced. So the more she ages, the more eggs are released and the more her ovarian reserve decreases. Once the reservoir is empty, it means she has reached menopause. Every month, the reason her ovaries are able to release this set of eggs is because her brain is sending a message through a hormone called FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. This hormone goes to the ovaries and tells the follicles, that is the sacs of fluid that contains the egg, to start growing. These sacs of fluid are called follicles and they contain the eggs. Note that a follicle can only contain an egg. So each follicle, that is each sac of fluid, contains one egg each. And as the sac of fluid is growing, it is making another hormone called estrogen. When the sac of fluid is big enough, it means that the egg inside it is mature enough to be released. But out of all the plenty sacs of fluid that comes out every month, only one will grow the biggest and release a mature egg. And once the mature egg is released, the rest of the eggs in the other sacs of fluid that did not grow will die. And the following month, when you see your period, a new set of eggs are released again. And this happens till you get to menopause. So how do you know the amount of eggs left in your ovaries? One, anti-mullerian hormone test, simply called AMH tests. This hormone is produced by the cells surrounding the eggs in your ovaries. It is a blood test that measures your AMH. A higher AMH level generally indicates a larger ovarian reserve, while a lower level may suggest a reduced reserve. So if you release more sacs of fluid every month, it means your AMH results will be high. And if your ovary releases fewer sacs of fluid every month, your AMH level will be lower. Another test to do is follicle stimulating hormone called FSH tests. So this FSH is a hormone that stimulates, it causes the growth and development of follicles that is sacs of fluid in the ovaries. High levels of this FSH indicates a reduced ovarian reserve because the body is trying to compensate for the reduced egg supply by producing more FSH. Another one is antral follicular counts simply called AFC. So how do you check for the antral follicle count? It's by using an ultrasound scan. Now this ultrasound scan is usually done early in your menstrual cycle to count the number of small follicles, that is the number of small sacs of fluid in your ovaries. These small sacs of fluid contain immature eggs. When we see a lot of these sacs, it means you have a larger ovarian reserve. 
ovarian reserve testing panels. That's the panels that include a combination of the AMH test, the FSH test, and the AFC test. They provide a comprehensive evaluation of your ovarian reserve. It gives you a comprehensive idea of what your ovarian reserve is. It's important to note that ovarian reserve can vary from woman to woman and can be influenced by various factors. There are some key factors to consider when thinking about the number of eggs in your ovaries. One, the age of a woman. As a woman ages, her ovarian reserve naturally reduces, her fertility declines, and the quality and quantity of her eggs reduces, making it harder for her to conceive. If you're interested, I have a video on how to get pregnant at 40 and above. I will attach a link to the video above. Another one is lifestyle factors. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption and certain medical conditions such as endometriosis can affect ovarian reserve. Although testing for the number of eggs left in your ovaries can provide useful information, it's important to remember its limitations. These tests provide an estimate, but cannot predict with certainty your ability to conceive. Additionally, there are other factors such as air quality and the health of your reproductive organs, and these also play an important role in fertility. If you are concerned about your ovarian reserve, or your fertility in general, it's always a good idea to consult a fertility specialist or a reproductive endocrinologist. They can evaluate your individual situation, provide personalized advice, and discuss options such as fertility preservation or even options like assisted reproductive techniques. Remember that knowing the amount of eggs left in your ovaries can provide valuable insights into your fertility potential. So while tests like AMH, FSH, and AFC can provide estimations, they are not definitive. So age, lifestyle factors, and individual circumstances all play a role in fertility. As usual, I'm wishing you all the best on your fertility journey. If you found this video informative and you want more content like this, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and see you in my next video. Thank you.